Hello everyone, welcome to Remote Learning with Ms. Patterson. Today I'm going to show you how to sign into Raz Kids. It's pretty similar whether you're signing in on a computer or tablet or cell phone using the app. So I'm just gonna show you what it looks like on the computer online. And let me know if you have any questions about translating this onto the app. So when it asks for your teacher's username, you need to put in the code that your teacher has provided for you. This is the one from my class, Ms. Sugar's class, and Ms. Ferguson's class. I'm gonna go ahead and click go. And you're gonna find your name on the list. If your name is not there, please make sure to reach out to your teacher. And then you're going to enter your password. Um, your teacher may have given you a text password or a picture password or no password at all. For my students, I gave them a picture password. And then once you put in your password, you can go ahead and click sign in. And now you've entered, you have your reading room here. So you go to the reading room, it will bring you to the level that your teacher has assigned you. So right now this practice sample student is at a level B. So all of the books that appear here are a level B. If you need books at a different reading level, you can click leveled books and find the level that is appropriate for you. Um, but if your teacher has assigned you the level that you're currently reading at, you should do those books first. So once you're signed in, you have everything that you need here. I'll follow up with another video on how to, on how to navigate within RazKids. Uh, when you're finished, make sure you click log out right here. Mm -hmm. And you can keep this login page on your screen. Um, if you're sharing the computer with others, then they can just click change teacher and put in their own password and then uh, their own code. And then you can navigate between the different classes here. All right, good luck.